what's cool about this um, eclipse though is that of course like I said it is um, sub ruled by Neptune and with, with Neptune being the ruler as well as the moon we are really getting a, a clear idea about our intuition I speak about this before with Neptune retrograde um, and a little bit with Mars retrograde but this month is really really has a strong sense um, or has a strong um, um, theme when it uh, uh, basically I have stuff falling on my face y'all sorry it has a strong theme of basically us really understanding our emotions um, going with our emotions and fine-tuning them so we can really become the intuitive beings that we should be okay um, Neptune represents um, you know, mutable, no, that isn't, that's Pisces. Pisces represents mutable water. But Neptune represents spirituality, self-undoing, uh, where you may be restricting yourself. It's not Neptune re or restricting you, it's you restricting yourself. Um, but it can, Neptune can bring that to light because Neptune does represent sovereignty overall. Um, Neptune also represents um, I, I said spirituality, intuition, dream world, the astral realm, the unknown, the things that we can't see in the 3D. You know, we have to see through our third eye and through our emotions. You know what I'm saying? So you understand how emotions are very important because the moon represents emotions as well, right? It represents our personal deep, 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 deep emotions, our personal deep emotions. Wow. Neptune rep this represents the emotions of the universe and how it's all connected to us and how we can use our personal emotions to connect with the other universal beings around us. You get what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, um, this solar eclipse is going to be very, very important when it comes to using our emotions to connect with spirituality, using our emotions to connect with God and with angels and with um, spiritual beings that are here to help us, okay? Uh, people can use this for bad as well, so I mean, I'd like to just put that out there. It's a possibility, but please try to use this as good. Please don't try to be too selfish with it or too wrong with it. Really focus on within and what will, will truly better you, okay? Don't even focus on social norms or what you think will sound right. Focus on what you feel and go with that, okay? Um, when it comes to your emotions and intuition and connecting with the beings that you're supposed to connect with. Because a lot of society is making us really feel like we are it's actually making us connect with the wrong things and not connect with the right things, you know what I mean? Not all, everyone's supposed to connect with the same thing. The only thing, same thing we all should connect with is God, honestly. Um, it kind of reminds me of this information, this information, this conversation I was having. Um, it wasn't really a conversation, actually, it's just me tweeting. <laughs> of uh, me talking about Lilith and how I feel like it's so, you know, that Lilith energy is so misunderstood. People are only thinking about the havoc she might or might have caused but no one's talking about how you know she was definitely suppressed and she felt like the only way to get out was the revenge um, we all had a moment where we felt like we were just pressed up against the wall and we really couldn't do anything but lash out and freak the fuck out you know and so i just wish that everyone was just as understanding as they are with um, themselves you know what I mean? To other people. But I was asking for a lot, I guess, huh? Um, but basically, I wrote like a lesson when it comes when it came to this um, solar eclipse. I wrote, um, connecting with your spiritual self to be as nurturing as possible. To find other halves so you can have that deep, ultimate bond. Okay? So I really feel that this is connecting, this eclipse is going to definitely connect us with our um, our soulmate or our karmic relationships that we need to connect with, our twin flame, our um, life partner or whatever we need to focus on at, at that moment, but it's going to be 
something that is karmic and spiritual that we need that like our guides are like put our guides are putting us together with someone and like their guides are helping too and it's all coming together you know what i mean it's really cute but it's less about the action so it's less about like you know this energy bringing us two together it's prepping us so we can be brought together it's prepping us to be more nurturing more loving more understanding with other people's emotions more understanding of our own emotions uh, understanding of our mother's emotions and how it can affect us our family's emotions you know what I'm saying um, really connecting not only with our emotions but the people that we connect with and because these are um, you know people that we are like romantically connecting with that it could be platonic too but because these are people that we are having a deep emotional bond with they're gonna be a part of that circle with our family as well so we really have to reflect what um, our emotions and how the people that were just naturally in our lives how they affect our emotions and how we affect theirs you know what I mean um, so we have to really dig deep inside is this this eclipse is gonna like this is actually a wonderful eclipse it's really gonna tug at our string our heartstrings real bad it's going to make us emotional but it's all gonna be worth it though um, I know hate people hate being emotional, but this this isn't really going to be worth it because there's not even really any bad aspects happening. Honestly, the the like worst one I saw was the semi sextile, which honestly, depending on the person, could be good or bad depending on the astrologer. So this is going to be like more of a happy eclipse. It but we have to make sure we dig deep. Like the more we dig deep, the more we are truly emotional. The more that we really focus on our emotion and intuition and how it's related to ourselves, our family, and our future life partner, or future person that we're going to emotionally bond with, the better results we're going to have, okay? All right. So, um, I'm not going to talk about the houses the moons will be in. Um, we could talk about that if you get a reading from me. Okay, <laughs> but um, I will talk about the aspects that the solar eclipse is going to be making so you guys can prep on it and you can see why I came to the conclusion that I came with that I was talking about before, okay? Um, the solar eclipse, new moon, of course, is going to be trying Neptune retrograde in 16 degrees Pisces, right? So... This, sh 